Now let's talk about the use memo hook of React. Use memo in React is essential React hook for improving the performance and speed of your application by caching the output in the computer memory and returning it when the same input is given again. The syntax is very simple. We are going to call use memo hook and then call two arguments. First is a function compute that computes the result and second is the dependency array. By default, the use memo hook will execute the function you pass as an argument after the initial render. The use callback hook is similar to use memo, but use callback returns memorize function, while the use memo has a function that returns a value. Let me show you a very simple example. So at the top, I'm going to import use effect, use state, and use memo. We are going to import that from the React module. Then inside this app, I'm simply going to create a state with counter and set counter. And then I'm going to return a JSX with division tag. And inside this div, I'm going to first call the button. And to this button, we specify this set counter. And we're going to increase this counter value by one whenever we click on this button. And inside this button, we are going to print this counter value. I'm going to create a child component. So right down here, I'm going to say constant child is equal to and then call a function here. And inside this function, I'm going to call use effect hook and I'm going to print console.log message. And inside this, I'm going to return a division tag. And inside this div, I'm going to add a one heading tag and say, this is a child component. Save this file. You can see I'm going to have the result something like this. Just out of that, let me call this child inside my parent component. So before this button, here I'm going to add my child component. Let me save the changes. You can see I'm going to have the child and the parent component. Let me open my console. And now when I reload the browser, I'm going to have here a text user card render. Or you can change this to child render. Something like this. And inside the parent component, right up here, I'm also going to call the use effect hook to render some console message. I'm going to say here console.log and I'm going to print here parent render. And now you can see first the child render and then the parent component render. But you can notice now when I click on this click me button and increase the value of this count, you can see the React is going to re render the child component as well as the parent component. But you can notice here I'm just changing the value of the parent component. This will execute the child component unnecessarily. We can remove this unnecessary render from this parent component and boost the application performance. To do that, we can use use memo. So I'm going to import the use memo inside this parenthesis and just down here, just out of this use effect, right down here, I'm going to say constant memorize is equal to use memo. And inside this, I'm going to call the callback function as a first argument. And then inside it, I'm going to return this child component. And instead of the child component, right now, I'm simply going to print this memorize value. Now, just out of that, once you have your callback function, as a second argument, here, we are going to pass an array. Inside this array, we are not going to pass anything. We're just going to pass here empty array as a dependencies. So we are informing React that this function, it depends on this array. Right now, I don't have any value here. Let me just save the changes. Reload the browser. When I click on this click me button, you can see it's just going to print the parent component and we are not going to have this console message of this child component and right now the value of this function is now memorized react won't execute this function until the value of this function changes let me show you what if i create here new state like this i'm going to specify this other counter as a dependency to this use memo right here and just out of this button i'm going to create another button and then I'm going to specify here, click me and specify this other counter, this one. And when I click on this button, I'm going to increase the value of this other counter. And what if I save the changes and reload the browser? I'm going to have here two buttons. When I click on the first button, it's going to re-render the parent component. But when I click on this second button, it's going to re-render the child component as well as the parent component. Because as you know, the child component is in the parent component. So whenever the child component changes, React need to re-render the parent component as well. But when the parent component changes, React don't need to update the child component. So when you click on this first button, React won't re-render the child component. You can notice. 
So using this technique, you can improve your application performance. So I hope you understand how to work with use memo in React application. Next, we'll talk about the use layout effect of. 